Morning everybody, it's me again. So it's Sunday morning, um, it's really bloody cold. It's been snowing a bit, I mean sleep really, not proper snow, um, but it's really grim. So I thought I'd light a fire because, you know, in old Victorian houses you've got an open fireplace and it gets really cold, really cold. You can get those things that you shove up the chimney to stop the cold air but we haven't got one so um, on a cold day like this you really do need a fire so the ingredients of building a fire um, and my granny taught me how to build a fire when I was a child because it was the first thing she used to do every morning um, so the ingredients that you need first of all you need a plastic bag because we're going to have to clear out the ash from the previous fire so a plastic bag, some coal, I've got enough coal in there to start a fire. I'll have to get some more from outside later. Some newspaper, old newspaper, some kindling, which are sort of chunks of wood. And sometimes if you feel it's going to be difficult to light, you can use a bit of old candle as a fire lighter. You can break it up and use it in the fire. I'll show you how to do that. And I've also got some logs in there. So the first thing I need to do is remove this fire guard. I'm gonna pop that over there, out of the way, like that. And the first thing we need to do is get rid of the ash. So I'm just gonna use this, I'm just gonna Great. You leave the old little bits of coal in there as a, a little base. Quite a noisy little spade there. And then we get a brush. Just brush out the ash, first of all, from there. I don't know whether you can see, but the logs are there. I put them by the fire to sort of dry out because they're quite big and quite damp. So hopefully they'll have dried out. There we are, brush that. Then we use the spade again. And we're gonna get rid of the ash. So we're going underneath, underneath the grate. And we're gonna put this into a plastic bag. Like that. Now I'm doing this video because, you know, just because I fancy doing it. And also some of you may have never used an open fire before. And by the way, the coal is smokeless, but you can't stop it smoking at the beginning because the paper and the wood will create some smoke. But once it's burning, doesn't produce much smoke at all and we don't have that many fires so you know it's not every day it's only a cold cold day that we do a fire the heating's whacked up full as well but, but I haven't got all my radiators on so only the ones that we need okay that's almost done it's no of the ash And also, I'm showing you how quick and easy it is to do as well. If you've got a fire and you think, well, oh, I've never used it because it's too messy. Well, it is a little bit messy, but, you know, it's quite quick and easy to do. So I'm just going to get rid of these bits because it's quite dusty. We just brush those bits around like that. You don't give it a proper clean out. I mean, I only do that in the summer. In the winter, you know, there's no point because you're going to be having regular fires, so... Okay. So that's that. We'll just clean up that bit there. Like that. Okay, just leave that little bit there. We can't get all of it up. Okay. I'll just leave that there for one moment. Okay, 
So the first thing you're going to do is make some fire lighters. So you take a sheet of newspaper, loosely roll it off. And I say loosely because you want to catch air inside this to help it burn. And then you twist it and just do a rough knot like that. Loosely throw it in. We need probably about 10 maybe, like that. I didn't roll that one up, did I? So I'll, I'll roll this one up properly. It's important that you don't scrunch the paper together too much otherwise it won't burn properly and also make sure your paper's not damp some of our paper was damp because the cat peed on it and it wouldn't burn properly I didn't know she peed on it until I saw her doing it. There we go. Another one. Twist. Throw it in. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost there. Go. Just maybe a, another one. There's two sheets there. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So what I do is I sort of push those just to the back a little bit, and then I put a small log in the front just to hold them in place because it's quite a big grate this I don't want to fill the whole grate otherwise it'd be like a furnace and this room will be unbearably hot so just to hold that in place there like that and then I'm going to put some kindling on there so I'm just going to lay them out on top of the paper like that don't need too much and I sort of aim to do a little bit of a, a lattice work like that just to hold the coal because the coal is going to go on top of that. A couple more pieces just like that. Push that lock forward a bit just to hold them in place. Yeah I think that will do. That looks good. And then basically you just pop your coal on top of the wood. Not too much coal to begin with. So that's just enough to start. And then you might need to rearrange the coal just so it's more evenly spread. Like that. I don't know whether you can see that. So the coal's on top of the wood. You've got the newspaper underneath. A little log just to hold it in place. Oh, let's move that one. And that's basically it. That's it. So you just need to light it. Where's my lighter? And I'm going to light it now. Actually, no. I'll just put those away. I should just give that a brush. Your CD kicking in there. Okay, that's good. And I'll just move this out of the way because I don't want that melting. Get rid of the air. Okay. That can go there for 
a minute, and then we're going to light. We're going to light the edge of the newspaper there, and then we're going to light that newspaper on the other side. Newspapers caught. Yeah, that's looking good. And now you put the fire guard in place because that wood can spit. There we go. That looks okay. that it is actually going to burn. Sometimes it can be a bit slow to catch because maybe the wood's a bit damp or the coal's a bit damp. But that's looking okay so far. If it is a bit slow and you think, oh, it's not catching, you can use your bellows to give it a bit of air and that will help it get going, yeah? Or you can use a bit of candle wax. You can sprinkle it on and that will help. So it seems to be all right. I think that's ready. Yeah, it seems to be catching, the wood's catching. That's gonna be fine. So there you go. That's how I build my fire. Works every time. Very rare that it doesn't get going. I'm pretty good at this. And as you can see now, it's burning beautifully. It's about five minutes later. And yeah, it's a lovely fire. So what you would do is, as soon as you can see that the coals are starting to glow, you can add a little bit more coal. Um, and they are starting to glow, so I have to go outside and get some more coal. I might send Paul, actually. He'll probably go and do it for me. Uh, but that's lovely. I mean, you're starting to feel the heat now. You must use the fire guard because coals and wood spit. And, you know, you don't want your rugs catching fire. So this is a lovely fire guard that we picked up in Guernsey, actually. We managed to get it back on the plane a few years ago now. Um, so, yeah, so when the coals are glowing, add a little bit more coal. Don't add too much. Don't stifle it. And also... If you add too much coal in one go, it will create quite a lot of smoke. You want it to burn as cleanly as possible, and that's burning relatively cleanly. There's still a little bit of wood left um, in there. You can hear a plane going over. It acts like a speaker, this fireplace, and brings the sound of the planes down. Um, and then, when it's, when it's later in the day and you... You don't want to build it up anymore, but the coals are still glowing. That's when you add a log, because it's nice and hot, and it will just catch straight away a log and burns fairly cleanly. Um, so there you go. Happy Sunday. If you're building a fire, let me know. Um, if it's cold where you are, let me know. I think it's cold pretty, pretty much everywhere in... The UK at the moment. Um, if you have a technique that you have to build a fire, let me know. Um, but notice I didn't use any chemical fire lighters to do that at all because I don't like the smell of them to be honest. So I don't use them. Um, I have used them in the past because, you know, I think my mum used to use them. So I thought, oh, I'll use them as well. But you don't generally need them. Um, yeah, so there you go. Enjoy your Sunday. Enjoy your fires if you're building one. That's getting nice and warm now. I can feel that. Um, yeah, have a great day. Bye for now.